share my vision for Ohio in a debate. The senator who said debates are the way candidates submit themselves to the public has broken his promise to Ohioans. central government, strong national defense, and the American system, and the American people. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I say it again, there are two Georges this year, and I don't know of a better, more able, and more principled public servant than the man who's going to be the next senator from the state of Ohio, George Boyd. Mayor of Cleveland in 1979, George found the city treasury mired in debt to the tune of $111 million. On June 25, 1987, he paid off the last of that debt. A lot of people said it couldn't be done, but they didn't understand that George Voinovich is the Charlie Hustle of Ohio politics. That kind of accomplishment is what we need for money and then have the nerve to go on television on those Sunday morning shows and complain that there's a budget deficit. Now there's something I've been going around the country saying, and I'm going to say it again tonight. The president doesn't spend a dime of the nation's money. It's Congress that appropriates, Congress that authorizes, and Congress that spends. George Voinovich knows what you are against, the line item veto and the balanced budget amendment. The liberals oppose these measures because, despite what they tell Dave Brinkley, they don't want a balanced budget. And they don't want to stop their big spending. They want pork, pork, pork. And you know what that means. It means taxes, taxes, and taxes. Well, one of the liberal tax and spend ringleaders in Washington is the fellow who's running against George Voinovich this year. The nonpartisan Washington publication, Congressional Quarterly, called him the liberal master of obstruction. Needless to say, he voted for those boondoggle bills. He's voted for so many of them, he's been given the dubious distinction of winning a big spender award from the National Taxpayers Union. About it, I think they're going to give him a thumbs down. by refusing to debate George even once, as he told you. With his record, I can understand why. <laughs> no Ohio liberal believe they oppose the death penalty, or at least the Ohio liberal did until this election. He had a sudden change of heart and decided to support it for drug kingpins. Not that for political opportunism. Who knows what he will support next year? With George point of vision, George's punishment, and I agree. <laughs> the difference in values, that explains why the liberals sometimes seem to care more about the rights of criminals than the rights of honest and law-abiding Americans. You see, they have reliable evidence, obtained reasonably and in good faith by our police, to be used in criminal prosecutions. That's the kind of position they take on crime. And they're just plain wrong to invoke the Constitution when they take it. I don't see a word. January the 11th, I had the honor of presenting you a key to the city of Cleveland. And I presented it to you 
And I said, I hope that it would remind you that you were key to the door of the Democrat-controlled United States Senate, and Ohio was key to sending someone to the United States Senate that has your values and your institutions.